Comedy Central dying for one final chance to zap you with a heebie-jeebies seven hours. By day, dressing up at night like vampires. I have people asking all the time if I'm a vampire, if I'm a witch. And I just kind of smile and say, uh, no. <laughs> when we dress like this, it's not because we want to drink blood and, uh, and roam around at night, even though we do roam around at night. Children of the night. What music they make. They wear white makeup, dress up in black, and look like the living dead. But they're not real-life vampires stalking the night. They're just part of the gothic movement. It's a way of expressing my sadness towards the whole world more than anything. I find it a, a, a anti society movement. I find society to be really bleak right now. I'd rather be dead than conform with it. Forget rave clubs. This vampire stuff is back in style. It's just a way of expressing ourselves and this is just the way we decided to look and it's just how we feel about the music and we're just expressing a different type of attitude, a different type of lifestyle that a lot of people just don't understand because it's pretty underground at this moment still. Even Hollywood hunks Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt aren't taking this vampire fad lying down. They're set to play vampires in an upcoming movie based on Anne Rice's best-selling novel. The image of vampire in our society is a very romantic image. I mean, oh, the perfect man, and he's coming to bite your neck and you live eternally in death forever. I am Dracula. Gothic's Natalie Ritchie and Jimmy Vitsky are regulars at this popular club which features Gothic Night. And every weekend, they help each other transform themselves into the living dead. Putting on my makeup is such a process that sometimes I don't look forward to it. Because, um, first of all, I, I have to shave, and I have to shave often. It usually takes me anywhere from an hour to two and a half hours to put on my makeup. The stark contrast of their pale faces and dreary clothes bring a lot of unwanted glares from strangers. I don't like the negative attention from people, but after a while I just start to block it out, because I got it every day at school. But they don't always look like this. By day, Natalie manages a beauty supply store, and Jimmy drives a forklift in a warehouse. Still, for many Gothics, the ultimate lure seems to be dressing up. I think the whole gothic lifestyle is mainly just, it's all theater. Everybody's on stage, and this is their 15 minutes of fame. Everybody gets a chance to dress any way they want, and nobody's going to bother you. <laughs> the most famous vampire to date is still Bela Lugosi's Count Dracula. We'll have to wait and see how Tom Cruise looks with fangs. We'll be back with more in a moment.